What's up everybody, my name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Alright, good afternoon everybody. Today we're going to check out Lens Island and this is the new Frozen Lands update. It's a major update and I want to give a shout out to Flow Studio for sending me the uh, game key to check this uh, new update out. I actually got it last week and they gave me access to the private beta branch, but unfortunately I didn't get a chance to do the coverage for the release. This game, um, the update, got released on Monday, uh, May 29th, and this game is currently in early access. It's been in early access since November 26, 2021. Uh, this game is a open world uh, survival action RPG. Um, I really do like action RPG games. I enjoy them. It's uh, kind of like, reminds me of uh, Project Zomboid, because that's my favorite open world. It's got that top down view angle, so I like that. And uh, the artwork actually slightly reminds me of Above Snakes. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump in and uh, check it out. So here is the news. Uh, there's patch notes here, but since this is the first time playing for me, I don't think any of these patch notes uh, mean anything. But you guys can feel free to go to their website, uh, sorry, their Steam page, and click on the patch notes. All right, let's go ahead and jump in here. Oh, and I was told that the music is also original, so I don't have to worry about any copyright claims. So that's nice. All right, so let's create a new world. Oh, I have to type in something first, right? Okay. Ron Empire. Oh, how do I want to do this? Peaceful, more casual, standard. A standard survival game and hardcore. Okay, so that's not available yet. So let's go with standard then. That's make my that that makes my choice a lot easier. I like survival. Ooh, nice. That was very nice. The transition from that to the next. Where is Len from? I have no idea where he's from. Is this a trivia question? Let's go with the Jargo Island. I, I don't know which one is the best to choose. Next. What is Len's facial type? Masculine? Female look like. Huh, okay. Does Len wear shoes? No. <laughs> uh, no and definitely no, right? Um, okay, so let's see here. Can I rotate this? No. Darker brown? What is this? Oh, that's hair color. I see. I can't rotate him right now, right? No. Hmm. Alright, let's go with that. It's fine. Maybe darker. Let's try darker. What's this? Orange hair? Black hair? White hair? Interesting. Yeah, let's go with that one then. It's a little, little, it stands out a little bit more with every other brown on him. Oh my god, a lot of brown, huh? This looks like... What is this? I guess if you have a female face, that could work. <laughs> it's a very bad survival outfit for sure, though. Mm. Let's go with that, I guess. Shorts, right? That's very short, though. Mm. Alright, I'm okay with that, too. Let's go with that. So that guy is Len. Okay. I mean, the game's Len's Island would make sense, I guess, to your character being Len's, but I was thinking also Len's Island could be some other 
guy's island that you explore, right? Like possibly a villain or, or somebody else. Or maybe your dad or uncle or whoever, sort of like in Stardew Valley that passes on the the farm or the property to you. But yeah, I guess uh, you are Len. There's no name changing here. Now the Steam description says, Master skill-based combat, craft pow powerful items, build, and and defend your homestead and find solace in farming your journey and your destination right so that looks like we're gonna have some diablo like stuff here your once safe home was destroyed by the voids the mysteries of the darkness that drives them is yet to be uncovered no one understands its power or where it came from you are ferried to the forgotten island where the light stone rush began Hoping to build a new life. This slightly reminds me of also uh, Force of Nature too, right? You got teleported to some island. That's also a uh, open world survival game. Alright. Building a new life on an island. I'm down with that. Tutorial 1 through 6. Getting started. Gather blueberries. Collect wood. Collect stone. Build a house. Sounds good. Yeah, definitely reminds me a little of that Force of Nature 2. Alright, how do I move? ASWD. Can I rotate? No, can't rotate cameras, right? How about middle mouse button? Oh, right click. Right click rotates. Right click rotates view. Now, I read somewhere, though, that they, there was an update that added orbital view. Right null mouse button, right. Uh. Okay, so right middle mouse button plus the scroll wheel lets you zoom. But scroll wheel otherwise rotates through the weapons. Okay, let me see here. Is there, is there orbital view? I could have sworn that I, I read somewhere about orbital view. Mm. Oh, I guess orbit is left and right. Uh, by orbital, I mean like changing the tilt uh, as well. Reset camera is the middle mouse button. Zoom it. Zoom is right click plus the other one. Okay, alright, that's fine. So there is no real um, change on the uh, tilt. Well, I guess zoom in slightly changes the tilt. Because I was wondering if I can just do a top down view, straight down. I guess not. Alright, that's fine. Whatever. Let's take this off. See what tab is. Okay, our resources. It would be nice if the resources was on the on the top bar. Kind of like a lot of city builder games. Skill points. What is this? Can't unlock it. Yet. Tutorial. What is this? Compendium. Oh, okay. Item collected. Quest. Okay, it's a list of quest. Okay. And C key. M key, right? Oh, interesting. A little dungeon over there, I think. What does this do? Alright, no, it's closed. Alright. What does this left shift? What does left shift do? Oh, that roll. Okay, this looks like our armor. Yep, okay. Armor points. There's hunger. We're low on hunger. Gather blueberries. Time. Each time each attack to trigger a critical hit for more damage. 
You can deal more damage timing your hits instead of holding down to auto hit. Time your next swing when you see the circle expanding. Click uh, during the crit window to trigger a critical hit. I see. You'll, so crit hit is actually more of an action. Uh, Twitch, Twitter, Twitch kind of ish. Deal bonus damage for landing critical hits. Well, it's basically a twitchy skill-based game, right? Where you actually have to time your attack on the little window. It's kind of like when you play War Tales crafting, you have to actually wait for the sparkle. That's my guess. Let's see here. Oh. I see. Oh. Let me see here. Let's zoom in then. You know, interesting. Okay, so you walk over it. You don't have to click on it. That's nice. And then stone. Oh, I don't have to hold it down. I see if I crit, then it continues. Or no. Or I guess whenever I hit it, it automatically... Okay, so when I try to do the crit, he keeps continuing. Yeah, even if I don't crit. Wait. Oh, I have to click in the circle. Yeah, I have to hit in the circle. Alright, that's fine. And then build a home. Well, I'm apparently next to a, a market of some sort. So I'm not on a deserted island. There's other people on this island. Alright, so how do I build a home? Or where should I build my home? I do like the, uh, the graphics and the art style. It's very nice, actually. I mean, maybe I should build my home right next to... The people or build it by the water because then if i have to do fishing I, I might need to be next to the water right yeah i do like the graphics it's very cool actually all right well i don't know if that rock eventually disappears it may not this may not be a good place because I'm going to want farming space, too. Since I saw there's farming in the game. Let's see if we can go further up. Maybe there's another spot up here. Okay. I think this could work right here. Got a little lake for fishing, too. Okay. I think this could work right here. Right here, right above the town. Alright, so how do I build my house? How do you build a house? Build a house. Do I do it with tab? Wooden building? Ew. That's a resource. Okay, wooden building. Weapons. Traveler's backpack. I'm guessing you just build a house with walls and floors, right? Wooden wall. Is there a floor? 
Do not build a floor? What's up? The ceiling used for walking on and other stuff. All homes start with foundations. Drag the first item in your build menu to place a foundation. I see. To edit your builds, um, enter edit mode with F. Make building easier using camera controls and level switching. Oh, there's level switching. Upgrade and change your builds with various styles. Okay. F key. Oh, now there is orbital view. Okay, there is an orbital view. I could change my tilt now. I just couldn't do it during the character move. Okay. Showing current E, showing current. Not enough support. What's up the ceiling? What's not enough support? Wait, what? Simple doorway. Must be placed in, in building. Wait, what? How do I do this? Balcony. Wooden foundation. Oh, foundation. Obstructed. I see, I see. Can I... Can I add it on something? I like how it's, it's elevated. I like how we can have an elevated room. How do I go up a level? Alt wheel. Oh. There you go. I can have a high... I can have a uh, up, upper thingy. Well, that's kind of cool. An elevated house, right? And then R key rotates. Can I rotate? Well, I guess it'll only rotate one direction. Yeah, we can only rotate one direction. Where was the uh, markets on that side? Right? Okay. Go with this way. Oh, okay, it automatically remembers. Well, that's kind of nice. I don't know if it's a good idea to do this elevated. This is kind of wonky. And I can't get the... F I can't get the floor how I want it. Yeah, see. Oh, I need more resources. What? I need more resources. Oh, my stomach is full too. Well, hang on. Let's just edit out and get out of this. Oh, it's finished. Managing your hotbar and backpack. Drag unlocked items onto hotbar to equip them, or drag an item off your hotbar to unequip. And any uh, unequipped hotbar items are automatically sent to your chest for storage. Any unequipped hotbar items are automatically sent to your, che uh, sent to your chest 
for storage. All your resources are accessible from your backpack at any time and do not require storage. Oh, that's very nice. Equipped food items by dragging them directly from your backpack to your hot bar. How do I eat this? Oh shit, how do I eat this? Oh god. How do I eat this? Right click? Eat. Wait. How do I eat this? How do I eat this? My guy is dying. Eat. Four. Oh, I gotta hit the F4 key. Oh, I gotta hit the 4 key. Alright, well, I gotta go find more food here. Where's the berries? Need to find more food. Can I eat that? No. One, four. Well, shit, I need to get food. Any other berries around? To build a house, I need more wood, too. Alright, I think it should be full now, right? Chopping. Interesting with the uh, crit hit mechanic. Yeah, crit hit mechanic thing is kind of interesting. I guess my inventory is full. I probably should build a chest of some sort. Uh, wooden foundation steps. Oh, that's kind of cool. Do I need a second one? Probably not, right? Maybe I should have a second one. And then have a... Uh... Oh no, maybe I don't need a second one. That was kind of a waste. I mean, I suppose the second one would be good, right? Because then I can go up the level. Well, it's fine. We'll leave it for now. We'll change it later if we need to. We'll just do a two by two. Is there a window? Oh, I need glass. Okay, no windows. Cool. Do I get how do I get a roof? I need copper. Yeah, I need copper. What is this? Wooden foundation extensions? Wooden hatch. Ooh, look at this. Wooden half turn stairs. Okay. Uh, I 
Let's build a... Is there a chest? W uh, wood buildings, right? Cupboard. Is there a chest? Small storage box. Nice. Well, I guess I can do it at any angle, huh? It would be nice if they had an, uh, another key. This is always rotating one direction only. It's kind of weird that uh, when I do the crit, he does another swing when there's nothing to swing at. You see that? Yeah, that needs a little work, I think. Feels a little weird. Yeah, see, I, why am I playing the crit game after that, you know what I mean? Like a little mini game. I mean, I don't mind it. I like the mini game, but it's just weird after the after you do the thing and then there's nothing left. So why am I doing the mini game after that and having him swing at nothing? A little weird there. I don't think that counts. Okay, there we go. I think that worked. Apparently it swings it with the axe even though you you don't necessarily use the axe for it. Interesting. Okay. I fell into my Fell into my house. Alright, so can I build a roof now? Oh, I can. Oh, hey, cool. I love this one. Oh, I guess uh, a two by a one, a one by one would have worked just fine. How do I get light into my room? Kind of dark in here, huh? Hmm. Is there light? I can build a bed. That needs rocks, right? Oh shit. Every time I rotate and I pass my... my thing, I have to go all the way around. Kind of weird. Do I need sleep? I don't think I need sleep, right? I need more rocks to get to get the campfire going.
I guess it only works when you have a rollover. Yeah, so I can't mine the other thingy that's not a real rock. Right, yeah, I don't think that's a rock. That one, oh, yeah, what was this? We got experience points. Okay, that's not gonna work. I have to manually change my... My tools. Wiggy. Build a workbench and build a campfire. So yeah, we're working on building a campfire. That's the thing we're doing right now. Oh, okay. Tells you where your bed is too. Oh, let's see here. These trees are in my way. Oh, I get the experience. What if I get experience for just chopping or experience for just for the uh, crits? I get experience for when it actually is felled. Yeah, so when it's completely felled, then yeah, I get experience. I don't get experience during the thingy. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's the hunger again. I gotta pay attention to this hunger. Can I put it inside? Oh, I can put it inside. <laughs> Build a campfire inside my house? down or what? Okay, it does not burn my house down. Is that your spawn point? Build a workbench. You need a thingy, right? Hmm. I need to get food. Starting to run low on the food. Berry bushes. Shit, we're gonna have some food problems here. A true survival game, huh? Gotta survive the hunger. I can do any weapon, just certain weapons will give me more damage than others. Okay. I 
I need to find more food though. Unless hunting is an option where we can get that deer that keeps walking around. Right? Huh. There's a deer walking around. Or the, unless there's fishing. How do we know when we're too tired? Or is that only when your health is low? Mouse button edit, recycle. What is this? Resources are refunded. Is it full refund? How do I move it? Oh, there's a recipe. How do I remove this? I can't choose this. Oh, I guess the only way to move it is... Is to recycle it and put it back down, right? I don't know if that's a full refund. It's probably a full refund. I'm guessing, I don't know. Okay, fishing, right? Fishing. The only recipe I know. Essential for any home unlocks new buildings, items, and access to your tools chest. It has to be placed in a support. Yeah, I don't like how I can't rotate back and forth. I can only rotate one direction. Open your map. Brian, find Bridgewater Town. Open the Bridgewater Town board. Purchase a torch from Alex in Bridgewater. What's this do? A place to upgrade your weapons and tools. Okay. Set sail for adventure. Wooden raft. Wooden frame farm. Oh. Okay. Wooden well. Board well used as manual water source for farming. This is a pet house. An enchanted boy chest that stores items across each time and space. What's this then? Does this chest do anything? Huh, interesting. I'm guessing this is the town, right? Open the bridge water town, right? Level two. Pirate merchant. Blackjack minigame. Sapphire vendor. Decorations for sale. Purchase a torch from Alex. Bridgewater. Are you Alex? You're Jared. Who are you? I'm Jared, the blacksmith, as you can probably tell. <laughs> what do you have for sale? I sell resources used for crafting, as well as armor pieces and weapons. You can gather these resources yourself if you want, but some of them might be hard to find unless you're willing to go into the caves. 
you can go down the mine shaft right there, but I'd suggest you go prepared. Uh, thanks for the heads up. Anytime, speak of that. Have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. Okay, well, I need food. There's a campfire right here. Do you have free food? Hello. Oh, Steph, who are you? Duh, Steph. <laughs> My name is Steph. Nice to meet you. I've been in this little encampment for a few weeks now. What do you have for sale? I sell a large variety of flowers, seeds, and berries, as well as farming tools. You can pick these flowers yourself if you happen to be lucky to come across them. Some of them are quite hard to find. Let me tell you... If you create yourself a plot of farming land, you can plant the seeds and s see them grow. I'd be happy to buy them from you. Don't forget to water the, the plot as well. Thanks for the tip. My pleasure. Feel free to browse my goods or let me know if you have any goods to sell. Are you Alex? Yes. Looks like you're Alex. Who are you? Alex. <laughs> what do you have for sale? Backpacks. And sometimes some tools. That's it. And hmm. Yes. Let me know more about yourself. Retrieve a backpack. Okay, never mind. He's got nothing to tell us. Oh, he's useless. Ten coins. Jesus. I need food! I need to be able to make money. Oh, this is a partial house. Maybe I'm meant to like... Build here. Oh, it is something I can turn, take, take apart. Yeah, maybe I was meant to build a house there, huh? Shit. I'm taking damage. Oh shit. I gotta find some berries here. This game is brutal. Where's my... Jesus, why didn't it... Why didn't it just do that for me? I still need food. Damn, this guy... I guess... Consumes really fast. High metabolism, right? I think is the word. Holy shit. My health is really low now. Maybe I need to sleep it off to heal. Well, shit. How do I get the, uh, how do I get food? Shift key right oh there we go. I didn't land any any strikes on him. I'm probably better off. Got him. I'm probably better off killing the deer.
All right, let's see here. We got something. I need to go back to my day. Sorry, Bambi. Actually, it's better to have a house on the floor. Alright, let's see here. Can we cook some food here? Uh. Output, right? The other one's rabbit meat. Can't right click or anything. Where's the rabbit meat? Oh, there's nine of them. Meat. Hello? Or? Oh, much better actually. The Rogan way. Okay. about rabbit meat I gotta figure out how to make money too Does it automatically turn off when it's done? I guess it does, right? Oh, I take it. Oh, it's tanning. Oh, that's hide. That's not meat. Oh, there's no rabbit meat. Where, how do I get rabbit meat then? I guess there's no such thing as rabbit meat. That says meat from deer. I had nine pieces of those. And... Alright, so there's no such thing as rabbit de uh, meat. Interesting. Sell this guy. How do I make money? Hammer. Oh, okay. How do I make money? What is this? Sell. Oh. Sell one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, looks like I can chop wood and sell it, right?
So the first time it does 12? Hmm, interesting. Well, we could just destroy those, right? That gets us some, something. Adventures torch unlocked. Flooring Bridgewater Island completed. Enter the mines from Bridgewater. Mine six iron shards, 40 stones, build an anvil. Upgrade your bowie knife to an iron sword. Okay. Sounds doable. I think I need to start getting more deer meat for food here because this guy drains fast. I think I'm meant to. Yeah, I meant to probably hunt it with a bow and arrow or something. I don't know. Hmm. Where else can I get the food? Oh, here we go. Maybe I can get food from fishing. Might have to get a fishing rod or something, right? Ooh, what's this? Probably flower. We can probably sell flower. back I guess. Hang on, well, let's see if there's any more berries. Get your berries! Should give us enough. Fibers are full. No rabbit meat. Right. Should be across this bridge here, right? Or water. Put the other one in. We had a lot of that earlier. Wait a minute. Let's 
It's kind of weird how that glow makes it seem like the house is burning down. That's it? That's all you got for me? Maybe I should sleep. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I should sleep. I don't know. Do I need to sleep? I'm guessing the bottom is it. No, it's not experience. Why would I need to sleep? Just to save the game? Hmm. Alright, just to save the game. Well, new day. Hang on. What? Use the bathroom here, so BRB, guys. Alright, so I'm back. Let's uh, resume. And then we're gonna go enter the mines now, right? Hopefully we have enough food here. Oh, you know what? Let's sell some of these flowers to the chick. I... Oh yeah, no. I have to click on the item, right? Oh, okay. What's this? What lit up? Something lit up. See, farming is locked. Fishing is locked. I see. I got one skill point. I can only do one thing. Oh, look at that! Increase in health. Seed harvest chance. Base damage. Increase in health. Oh. Okay, I might actually go for the seed harvest, but we'll see. Oh, okay, you just walk straight in. It automatically loads the next thingy. Limestone is often found near water's edge, blah 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 blah. You can trigger a critical hit if you start the next attack when the critical indicator is active. You start the next attack. Mine, sh uh, mine six iron shards, mine stones, build an anvil, upgrade your Bowie, 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 right? I think it's Bowie. Bowie knife to an iron sword. Oh, I know. This should light up, right, when I roll over it. Also, it was also going away from me. Yeah, it's like a little mini game for each of these things. I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence about it now that I think about it. Hopefully that's iron. I mean, iron should be sort of 
grayish, right? It's all stones. It's funny how my inventory is full for stones, but then I have extra inventory space for the mushrooms, right? What is this? How do I get iron? That's stones, right? What does iron look like? iron one look like? I don't even know if that's stone or iron. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm guessing that's stone then. What does the iron look like? guessing also the other one is mushrooms for eating. Hmm. Eating strange mushrooms is not a good idea. I read this article about uh, this chick who gathered some strange mushrooms out in the woods in Australia and she fed it to her family and killed them. It's a good idea to jump down either. Probably not a good idea to jump down. only one path right it's funny how this mine is there but um it magically teleports you out to another world you see that if i'm orbiting around this i'm like wait a minute that's the mine entrance but i'm like okay well when you look around right here watch i can't, you can't see it from here Right, you see, see how like, how does it know where to go for the open outside world? Because the backside of that little mine entrance does not, does not have like a, a blockage, which means it just teleports you to the outside world. And I was trying to look up to see if it there's like a, if the mine has a top, the mine entrance has a top. If it has a top, then like, how the hell? you lead to the open world. Do I use this? Oh, you repair it. I thought it was going downward. What is this? Can I click on it? No, alright. That might be a... Uh... I mean, it looks silver, so... In a lot of games, iron is usually silver or grayish. There you go, we got four iron shards, right? Uh-oh. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Whoa, what was that? That guy just teleported. Or dissolve. Oh, interesting. 
interesting. That does heal me. Hopefully that's it, because I need to go get out and heal. Maybe I'm supposed to turn on the torch. Got it. Alright, let's get the hell out. Maybe I'm supposed to turn on the torch. In this huh. I might be able to get more stones that way right like more of the stones yeah I can that bucket. I don't know what the wrong what's wrong with that bucket. Well the light is free, apparently. Okay. I think that's a cheesy way of increasing my space. a cheesy way of increasing my space. I wonder what happens if I fall off that. I don't know if I can get back up. I don't want to test that. It might be a problem. Yeah, so that's a cheesy way of collecting extra stuff. Well, let's get out of here. Build an anvil. And then upgrade my weapon, right? My knife. Build wood and stone piles to store resources. Trees will always fall away from you unless they are tilted in a certain direction. Okay. I like the interface so far, it's not bad, or the graphic style. Game save. Can I click on this for anything? No, right? It's automatic. Too bad I can't use it. Can I cook? The uh, mushrooms? Can't cook mushrooms. Do I eat mushrooms? Heal amount zero. Hunger filled. Can I cook mushrooms? No, mushrooms can't be cooked. Well, it doesn't look like it's bad, right? Well, first of all, let's. Uh, Build an anvil. Must be placed in building. Extra storage. Hmm. Feels like the backpack is autumn. 
is limited. I mean, obviously, storage did not get filled up. This. Or, or I have to press that. Got it. I need bars, right? Hardened steel. Go to the dungeon entrance and light the obelisk to reveal the keystones on your map. Activate the northern keystone, activate the eastern keystone, activate the wooden keystone. Unlock the dungeons from the obelisk. Go to the dungeon entrance and light the obelisk to reveal the keystones on your map. Unlock the dungeon for the obelisk. Okay, so I gotta go to the obelisk. I don't know where the dungeon is. The key. Ooh, I get a skill point. That's more health, right? Oh, it requires two points. Increase base damage. Maybe I should increase the base damage, but that's like point that's like five percent. I feel like that is better long term. So I don't have to farm as much for the seeds. So I'll just take this one for now. How do I get out of this? better food. Oh, seeds for growing. Ooh. Three? Alright, well, it doesn't look like it. I get sick or anything. Now, where's this obelisk? I think that's the dungeon right there, right? Okay, that is probably the dungeon entrance. Oh, that's a 5% attack. Or, what is he? Oh, it's a special move. Well, that's kind of cool. Hmm, the problem right now is... Food, sort of-ish, right? I can't farm, and I can't fish. Oh hey, there's berries. Nice, ooh, look at that. It's like a dash forward. Oh nice. <laughs> well that's easy. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So, let's see here. Are we there? No. Looking for more food. like no one around but sell Rafugi oh shit 
Oh, yeah, that. Oh, yeah, it's down here. It's not that bad. Not that bad. I don't think I'm meant to to do fishing yet. Yeah, I don't think I'm meant to do fishing yet. Now where's this dungeon? I think it's de oh, I gotta jump down here or something. Oh shit, I lost health. Oh, look at this. Obelisk. Activate. Map updated. Go to the dungeon entrance. Light the obelisk to reveal the keystone on your map. Okay, so we gotta do that and that and that, right? They probably each require wood to repair. Probably require wood to repair. All right, four. Ooh, there's another one here. What is this? Where am I? What is this? I don't know. I can't tell. Interesting, right? It's got some the markers on here. What's the key? Q is what? Oh, Q is for my torch. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think the torch is infinite. Because it doesn't look like there's a durability or a, uh, a charge thingy. I think deer is the best to hunt because they get food and also also the uh, skins. What's all this? Oh, I don't think I can pick them up. Not a thing. Can I go in the right direction? somewhere on this side right I think it's on that island I might actually have to craft a raft or some shit to get across it yeah it looks like I might have to get a craft raft or no oh I can probably walk across maybe swim even oh I can swim food source right oh my god look at all those fruits and berries well hello there lots of food huh papayas or something looks like it's papayas mmm yum 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 oh papaya sounds good 
What is that? I don't know if that's that's not berries, right? Take a look at our thing here. Produce. You know, we have papayas. Oh, pumpkins! They look like papayas. Okay, so pumpkins. We've got some berries. Oh, that's a flower. You're my sunflower. Oh, berry seeds. You know, I probably should have picked the 2% chance of getting seeds. Yeah, it's all, oh, it's only for harvest. The lavender bush. Where's this keystone? Is that something I find? Oh, I do find. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 shit. These are spawners. Void hunters. That's what they're called. My Steam achievement says I unlock void hunters. I think they're spawners. I think I'm supposed to go in there or something. Maybe. Maybe. According to this, that's the keystone, right? Activate the northern keystone. These are all fires. How do I activate the northern? I think it's inside the thing. I'm looking around. I think it has to be up inside the thing. Oh wait, I see, I see some pumpkins. J or sorry, space bars jump. The fiber is basically the thing I can't pick up. Hopefully this is easy. Might be it. Oh yeah, it's not easy. Usually when you load it's not easy. I was hoping to just go inside a cave and just click and then leave. Nope, no such luck. I'm pretty sure I have to go through this to get to the keystone. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, never mind. It is just going in and out. It is just going in and out. Alright. I wonder if all the cave entrances are connected. Yeah, see, it's kind of weird how there's a roof or there's a top to that entrance. It's like a teleporter to a cave location. Which is kind of weird, right? You would think it, there would be like a blockage to say, hey, that's the outside world. Or like a tunnel down or something, right? Okay. Well, that was fairly easy. Now we just uh, get the hell out. I 
Whatever. Okay, I guess I get points every time I hit something. Where's the... There's wearables. Wasn't there like a screen that had my character sheet? Oh, here we go. How much experience do I have? Okay, two, right? I'm at level two. Yeah, I'm slowly getting experience for just attacking random shit. So, where am I going? That direction, right? I gotta cross this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. We have to cross the water. I was like, how do I get off? Okay, sure. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Bambi's mom. Nope. Not today, Bambi. Not today. Looks like there's there should have been another keystone here, but I can't get I think I'm stuck in here. We can go up top too, huh? Nice. Okay, let's go back to base. Start cooking some deer. So that way we can get some food. But yeah, I'm digging this survival game. It's very nice. This is fiber, right? Produce. Hmm. The rate of that is not the same. Costing me more to cook it. I think it's like two for one. my slot opened up. Oh hey, look at that. They stack. Oh 
Oh wait. Oh wait, they stack on that too. Huh. Interesting. Alright. I do dig this. This is kind of nice. It's cozy-ish vibe, too. Like in one of those cozy games. Top-down view. Yeah, I, I generally prefer these isometric type of games. Or top-down view or third-person mode. Over, like, a first-person. I just got rid of all my... All the things I needed for this. Didn't think about that, huh? Landing in the water, isn't it? Well, the bright side, we can swim towards it. Kind of nice too. The game it lets you swim. Most games is like, oh, you hit the water. Nope, that's it. Can't go anywhere else. Did that hit the other tree and knock over extra logs? Did I miss that? Let's take a look. I think the big tree knocked over shit. Test that theory out. Theory out. It does! Oh. Isn't that interesting? So if you want extra wood, basically have the tree fall on top of another one. That's an interesting tip there. Yeah. Very cool, right? Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. Shit. Oh, damn it. It's alright, whatever. Well, at least you know what happens, right? Now, I don't know what it would happen if I... If that was inside the cave. Oh, hey, I got some scraps. Ooh. Very nice. I got some scraps. Alright, so no caves on this side. Right, no caves on this side. And then one more, right? And I unlock the dungeon, and then the next quest is probably do something in the dungeon. Wasn't that guy selling like a bigger backpack? Maybe I can make some more money. Sell all these logs. Seems like logs are easy to come by.
For a pirate merchant. Blackjack minigame. Sapphire. Vendor. Decorations for sale. Level 2. I guess if I reach level 2, I get that. Upgrade to level 2. Oh! I see. If I get all those resources, I get to upgrade. I see. Well, that means I should probably keep my wood, right? Hang on. 45. I need... Whatever this is. Clay? Is that clay? Clay. And reed. Clay, reed, and stones. I gotta find a tree that's gonna knock over another tree. I'm already picking up some pro tips here, right? Knock trees over. Oh shit, that didn't. Oh my god. I screwed that one up. Yeah, the angle of the tree makes a difference. What else? Stones and clay, right? Stones and clay. I think it was 45. And then, uh, stones too, right? Oh, one more. Seriously? they have a need to do the little arc thing Stones, right? We actually have some, but I guess we can mine some more. Apparently, it's taking the item not from our inventory. I mean, our storage, right? Because it says something about it taps into the storage.
stay here. What else? Oops. There we go. Let's find out. I think that's it, right? Hopefully it doesn't cost me money. I think there might have been a price associated to it as well. No, right. Level 3 is Warp Portal. Repair Warp Portal, allowing for teleportation to other portal locations. I see. So where's the new guy? There's supposed to be a new guy here. Increase inventory slots. Okay, that requires money. Lots of money. Well, it says there's a new guy. Like some pirate merchant. I don't see this pirate merchant. Maybe he comes later. I should have enough money now for a backpack, right? Of 60 coins. I won't I have to sell 10. Harvesting in the town. Oh, he won't let me harvest in town. <laughs> okay. I can find a tree. There's spells right over. Well, I don't have to find the same a tree. Oh, hey, now it's actually orbiting correctly. See that? It's actually orbiting correctly now. Interesting. Oh, it's only because I opened the tab menu. Wait, what? Now I can't orbit it. Weird. Weird. Let me orbit earlier. Now I can't for some reason. Oh, oh, if I land in front of it. Oh my god. I took 20 points of hit damage. Shit. Oh, it's a 200 point damage. A 200 point damage. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Timber. Well, that was really nice. Knock one tree down, 200 points, ricochet to the other one. Works night and day, doesn't he? This lady too. Oh, I need to sell my wood first.
What was that? I don't need a cyanide. What's this? Bait box. These are storing bait inside. It will attract animals if they like the bait. Oh, interesting. What does this do? Empty water, watering can to fill. Equip watering can to fill. I see. Well, now it can go up to 100, right? That was useful. Oh, I think that building. No, that building was always there. Where's the pirate then? That was like my stomach growling or some shit. Man, that's gonna take a while. Alright, I gotta do the keystones. What does this do? Oh, when I'm full, I get health back. Nice. Yeah, I like how the dash, or the uh, attack is in a, a dash key. Makes it easier. Alright, so keystone. So it's, I also like how the uh, direction is indicated on the map, the direction you're facing. A lot of times the games don't give you that. Probably a new flower type. Please be an easy one. I'm pretty sure my next tutorial quest is to do some, some dungeon grind. Yeah, I think the last tutorial is probably some some dungeon grind. We'll see. How do I get up there? I'm thinking it's this. Use air rolls to jump over long distance. You can jump further when air roll rolling instead of your regular jump and run and jump forward. After you left the ground, trigger the roll. This will perform an air roll to propel you forward. Oh. Okay. Shit. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Alright, so... Jump. Nice. Air roll. Look at that. Ooh. That did a powerful attack. Is that a regular tree or some special tree? Oh, I don't have a... Nice. 
Oh, what's this? What is this? What kind of icon is that? Oh, it's a watering can icon. Oh, I guess you can regrow the stumps. It's a watering can icon. How do I get a watering can? I have to probably craft that, huh? Gives you free experience points. I see something glowing over here. Nice. I don't think that does anything. It got me some loot, but that's about it. Nope, it's not a rock. Alright, so all I gotta do is unlock the thingy. Alright, go back to the other thingy. The obelisk, right? The obelisk. Nice how it's blue. Here we go. Complete the dungeon! Oh, somehow I knew that was gonna be the quest. Well, let's go back and unload anything. Well, then, then again, we have like a full backpack of a hundred. Or sorry, a hundred is our cap limit. That should be fine, right? Hang on, let's take a look at the bench to see if there's anything else in the bench. That may be useful. the icon weird there's something to take I mean the icon hmm. probably not to the left diagonal left should be right up ahead. And we got leather. Gave him all of the wood and the other thingy. That's fine. It's almost done. That's it, right? Try it again. It's a little choppy choppy. Boom. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Now why can't I loot that? Oh, there we go.
stuck in the water. All right, so we just got to do the oh, the um, the dungeon, right? Oh shit! Oh my god, I accidentally ate more than I needed to. I over eight. Oh man, I lose health every time I jump down that cliff. Well then again, I'm getting five for every three seconds. Not terribly bad. Now, the last step of the tutorial. Ooh, this is creepy. Ancient cave. Well, it's a good thing I brought some materials. What am I supposed to do here? Complete the dungeon. How do you complete the dungeon? Doesn't even show you the map of the dungeon either. Hmm. How do you complete this dungeon? I'm guessing run through all the way to the end? I mean, is there anything else here? Oh, here we go. That is the map of the dungeon. What is this? What's that? Oh, they're markers. I wonder if those other of the tunnel connects. I'm wondering if it connects. Man, these guys are creepy. So here, can I put a torch in here? Yeah, I don't know how you complete the dungeon. I guess it's just go through there and... Oh, this is not even moving. I don't think that's the dungeon map. It wasn't even moving. Oh, shit. Kind of reminds me also like Tomb Raiders. What is this? Yeah, like Laura Croft Tomb Raider Go or something. It's like a mobile. It's a little aliens nest or something. The mystery here. The mystery of the void crystals, or the creatures.
Yeah, see that map does not change for some reason, so that is not the correct map. Ugh. Oh, hey, I can jump on top of him. <laughs> Two, right? Oh, it doesn't do heals. Forgot. It says no heals on mushrooms. Well, that kind of stinks. You can't heal. Nothing good. Get wrong key. There you go. Nice. Wraps. Nothing else, right? Mushrooms. More scraps. Yummy, yummy mushrooms. What's this do? I like it. Does it? It's just two weights, two stones, looking thingy. Yep, that map does not move. That map does not move either. Well, looks like we're on our own. There's no real map right now. Yeah, nothing here, right? The rollover doesn't show anything. Like it's some kind of alien nest breeding pod or something. Oh, what's this? Oh, I got money. Money's good. Oh, I can't look. See what this crate has. Nothing. I keep looking at the map, but there's nothing there. I think we went this way already, right? Maybe. Yeah, I think we did go this way. Nothing. Yeah, that sword upgrade is actually really nice.
Ooh, there's a river flow. Yeah. Wonder where that leads. Oh, this looks like something different. That might be chalk oil or coal or something. That iron one had like silver spikes. As an indication. Yeah, I think we got coal. I like how it disappears too. Oh shit. Where's the Where's the cook shit? That should give me full full heal per minute. Well, we must be close, right? There's something. There's lights. Okay, I only get it when it's full. puzzle here. I like adventuring and finding loot at the end of my run. Ooh, a hammer. Ooh. Oh, I take it. That's it, right? What's the difference? 28 damage per second. 34. It's alright. I'm comparing the difference. 45 is crit damage. The hammer actually attacks. No, this attacks faster, right? Yeah, first one attacks faster. Maybe there's a reason to have the hammer? It looks like these aliens are like... The, uh... Oh shit, the boss. Oh. Oh shit, there's a boss. Or like, um... What do you call that guy? Venom. Oh shit. Oh shit. E. E. Get out. Get out. Oh, you know what? Hang on. You probably destroy this. Oh shit. I died. Oh shit. I died. What happened? What happens when I die? Oh shit.
Not good. All my loot and gear is inside, I think. Please tell me it does not restart all over. There's a spawn point, right? I think the bed's my spawn point. Yeah. Oh, I lost all my loot, but my I inventory is still in my hand. Right. What's this one say? What's E say? Base damage is 44. Oh! Oh! Maybe I should use that. The other direction. Hmm. I guess to complete the dungeon I have to kill the the boss or those mobs. I guess my item just fell to the ground. That is the death penalty. At least it's not durability. Oh I should probably walk around. Oh no. No, the reason is I just didn't want to jump off for the minus 27 hit point. E basically does knockbacks. I think. Try different food and recipes. They have different helpful effects. Clay deposit something. What the hell? I didn't do anything. I was lifting my hand and for my drink. I didn't even touch the uh, the keyboard or the mouse during the load. It just auto walked to the left. That was bizarre. That's annoying. Doing exactly the same thing again. Weird, huh? Yeah, we have to kill all these guys here. A harvest moon arrives. What the hell does that mean? My worry is that whatever I loot, I hope my bag isn't full. Yeah, there's no, uh, no map for that. Jump can leap and dodge an attack. Ooh. 
Which way am I supposed to go? Hopefully I'm going the right direction. What are those things I keep collecting? I think I like the first weapon better. It's got a faster attack. First one is faster. I get the feeling if I jump off the cliff, that is a death thingy. I don't know. Hmm, yeah. Probably don't want to jump off the edges. At least I'm building experience, right? longer and I'll level up. zero skill points. For the cooldown one would be useful though. Damn it. Oh the experience bar is gonna take a while. That's not the experience bar. The green is not the experience bar. gonna take a while to get better cooldowns.
If I jump down there, that is it, right? Huh. Is there a reason to go one side or the other? Usually, like, one of these type of games that have, like, a, if you go this way, you get a certain loot, or you go this way, or, or you get, like, a special buff or something. Hmm. Alright, I gotta wait for my heals. one. Oh shit. Uh. Oh shit. Not looking good. There's an auto save, right? Shit. Oh god. I did that really bad. I don't know if the auto save loads it right there. Oh, there's no load. Save to menu, save to quit. I can't load. It's, oh, it saved me right where I'm at, too. Why am I... Oh, it's probably because of the, the moon thingy. Probably related to the moon thingy. Yeah, give me a second, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, oh, woof. Alright. Wonder if I lose both of my backpacks. Or the first backpack. That would be really bad if I lost the first backpack. Yeah, it would be really bad if I lost the first backpack. Wonder if I can build my spawn point closer. If I can't build in this mode. No, I can't build in this mode. So no, that answers that question. Yep, I can't build in this mode. Oh, maybe I can. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can. But... I was thinking of moving my bed closer. Run. I think my problem was I need to set a a camera orientation because I kept rotating it while I was fighting. And 
and so I kept losing the my orientation every time. It caused a slight delay every time. I don't have a whole lot of food left. Seven, right? Seven pieces. XP's here. Hmm. I keep looking at the map, even though it doesn't help me. I need to get it on this round. Harvest Moon ended? Okay. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming that all the monsters stop attacking us on the outside. On the outer world. If I keep dying and gaining experience like this, I might end up getting a level 8. Okay, here we go. Okay, my backpack does land on two different spots. Well, actually, I should probably go to this way, right? Because I think when I jumped, I lost health.
Oh, come on. I'm waiting for my health to regen. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Completed? Please tell me you completed it. Where's all my items? Okay, I got all my items. I got it right. Why is it not completed? Oh, oh there's a dog at the end, huh? Interesting. We got money. Well, there's something over here. Old note, the caves are overrun. I'm not sure if, if I'll last the night. The void beasts are everywhere. There's no escape. I take it? I don't take it, right? Aim. Dog collar unlocked, nice. Is he one of us? Oh, hey, look at that. Caller used for spawning a dog. Your companion fetches items for you. Cool. What does this do? Ten percent longer? Huh. Door. One extra hot bar, two points. I think this is the end, right? Ooh, loot. Yep, now it's the end, the loot. Map updated, journey to the quest completed, save game, lit, collect one light stone. I collected a light stone. Collect some mushrooms here. Okay, that's it, right? Warp out of here. Nice! So, did I complete everything? Yeah, I did, right? 6-6. Six, six. That's dungeon complete. The dungeon thing is the last tutorial quest. If you die, you respawn at the bed where you slept in, or it'll save progress for the last time. In case the bed has been removed, you will respawn at the initial spawn. I see. No bed, I go back to the initial, the original spot. Or save point for the last time. No more quests! So that is it. I just need to earn more points to extend my belt. I'm almost there, actually. If you see this down here. I need to get more trees. I don't think that's gonna work though. Yeah, 
didn't think so. Because that was angling the other way. Oh, it missed! Oh my goodness. Terrible. Terrible. Says he fetches for us. I don't know if he's doing that. That's watering, right? I got it, right? Or no? Wait, why is this showing? It's showing something. Maybe it's because I have one skill point, but I actually don't have- I can't spend it. Oh, there's- oh, there's more coins. Oh, you can only look at one thing at a time. Oh, so there are more quests. Oh. Complete the ancient cave dungeon in cursed mode. Town portals. Oh, build, upgrade, build, build. Upgrade bridge water town to level three. Upgrade target town to level three. I get portals. Purchase all outposts. I see. So there is a farming quest. It looks like these things do respawn. I think. It seems like they respawn. It would make sense to have them respawn, right? I'm just collecting shit right now because I don't know if I need it or not. But our backpack is up to a to 100 slots or 100 stacks. You know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Why am I? I might be able to just chop the tree and see if it lands on the rock. Can't cheese the uh, the mining. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a mine cheese. Glass. Wait, there's there's a roll there's a hand icon. I don't know what the hand icon does. Okay. 
Yay, I leveled up. There you go. What else is here? More health? Ooh, it keeps getting bigger and bigger, huh? Extra hot bar slot. Nice. 10% cooldown reduction. Nice. Oh, that's three points required. That's four points. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. I wonder if I'm supposed to, like, grind the dungeons again for experience. Yeah, I'm wondering if I have to do that. Well, I've reached high levels now, right? I should be able to unlock all sorts of shit at the, uh, at the town. Because originally, was, I only had to get to level 2. But now I'm like, 9. Oh, I gotta get all of this, right? Oh god, it's like 150. Oh, I don't even have 150 in my backpack. Unless I buy a bigger backpack. Or it automatically pulls from my storage bin. Yeah, it looks like I do have to buy a bigger backpack. And it costs 250 coins. What else can I sell here? Oh, I can buy shit too! Roll cooldown, movement speed boost, display artifact locations within range. Oh my god. All sorts of shit to buy. I need to start selling wood. Hmm. I think chopping wood is the easiest to sell, right? Yeah. Buying a water can from Steph with the florist. Upgrade your workbench to level one. I get a reward. Build your first farm. Plant nine seeds. Harvest. Interesting. Well, do I want to go with the farming route with my money? Well, I need to start stocking up on money. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's G mode. Or I save up money for the backpack. Inventory slots at 200, right? Because I need 200 to be able to upgrade the town. Or I also buy the, the hat, which is really nice. What's this? Satchel. Roll cooldown. Reductions and movement speed boost. Damage blocking. The perfect lightweight carry bag and stash for a cave explorer. Wow, this is so good. All sorts of shit here. Sell five at a time, right? I think I need to do farming because then I can start. I can start, um. I can start, uh. Making money 
selling to them the flowers. No. Oh, I do have coal. I should know it's, it's not a good one. Oh, I can buy a shield too. Base damage. Oh, I can hit with my shield. Damage blocking. Interesting. What is this? Bonus crit hit damage is increased by five. Huh. Well, I didn't realize this guy had armor to, to purchase. Interesting. There's lots to do here. I think I need to buy the watering can, right? Oh, it's only it's ten coins. I'll buy it. Enjoy? Yeah, I'll enjoy. I will enjoy. Now I gotta build the water well, right? Isn't there a water well? What is this? Oh, it's unlocked. Or it's locked, right? Locked, locked. Okay. Can I do this? probably better to use the axe. Yeah, it's probably better to use the axe. It's still slower though, the axe wing. Buy a water can, upgrade your workbench to level one, build your first farm. Oh, I need wood. There you go, what else can I do? Build my first farm. Cute little bed for your gardens. Metal chest. What's this say? Enhanced metal storage chest. Sink inventory across all storage containers. Storage pile. Oh, stone pile. Oh, interesting. How do I build it? Oh. Wait, oh. Level 1 workbench. How do I make this? How do I make this? I guess the workbench just unlocks it and you have to use this to do it, right? Wooden farm frame? I unlock this, right, or no? Loom? Or is it level two? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Stop. I'm, I'm, I need to heal. Oh, my God. Do I need a workbench to be able to do this? Or is that something I get next level? Oh, blueprints unlock next level. Got it. 
So I can craft whatever, whenever I want. Wherever I want. I see. dogs in the way. <laughs> Good God, please dog go away. Watering your crops. Purchase a watering can to tend your crops. Farms need to stay watered in order to grow. Refill your water watering can at a well or natural water source. Grow your farm with automatic automated water systems. Oh. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? Plant blueberry seeds? Where are all my seeds? Oh, here we go. Cooking. Why, why am I in the cooking section? Produce. It says cooking. Weird, right? It says cooking. I got six of these. Oh. Plant last. How do I... I just plant. Wait, what? Did I automatically plant it? No, right. Oh, I dropped it on the ground here. Plant all. Oh, well that's handy. Well, that's handy. Plant all. I'm conceived. How many do I have? Recording this, I have... Where's pears? I can't... I can't plant the pear. For some reason, I can't plant pear. How do I plant a pear? Seeds for growing a pear tree. How do I plant a pear? How do I plant a pear? Hmm. I don't know. Three. I guess I don't need a well. I suppose I don't need a well if I'm right next to it, right? I probably should've just moved it over here. It'll be easier. Can I move it? Oh, I forgot, I can't move. It only can recycle. Shit. Oh, that, oh, that grows. Oh, that waters the whole thing. Oh, well that's nice. That's it, right? I can't do anything else. Wooden well. Blue dog home. Small rectangle rug. These are kind of cool. Having decorations. the difference oh I see so whatever I have I can just add it to this okay I gotta get more 
berry seeds. Sell berry blueberries to staff. Oh. Rose seeds. Interesting. Alright, so all I gotta do is chop more shit. when it goes the other way. Yeah, if we time it where it lands on the, the deer, that'll be great. It like, it did 200 points of damage. 20-something to us. I wonder how much the flowers cost. I forgot to check that earlier when I sold some. Nice, nice. That's like what, five coins every time we chop a tree? Ten coins maybe at best? A lot of grinding to get the uh, the money to buy all the, the gears but we can't level up the portal unless we have a bigger backpack I wouldn't but we wouldn't be able to loot the tree. I just forgot we need to sell it. Yeah, we need to sell the wood. coins. Hmm. Alright. We got, what, 80 coins? Jesus. And we want what? 250? Or the amazing satchel. Or or the leather gambeson for extra hit damage. Or displays artifact locations within a range. Now that is very useful if we if artifact is something cool.
four. Oh, I just realized I could have looted more. If I put in my inventory. Yeah, had I put it on my action bar, I could have looted more. Yeah, this looks better actually. It's faster too. The axe swing is slow. Yeah, this actually gets a lot more. Oh, that just drops in. It's not that big of a deal. Alright. We water this every day, or how does this work? Watering cans empty. It's kind of weird, right? He's got that animation when you click on the watering. No, it doesn't look like it's... I think it's always been that color. What about this one? What is this? Hardened steel. Wait, hang on. Oh, there is a way to upgrade it. Interesting. That means I just need more iron. Yeah, that just means I need more iron. I upgrade my axe, I do more damage, right? I could probably chop more trees to sell. Oh, I do harvest. Oh, I can walk on it. It's kind of tedious, though. Come on. I definitely need to put a well next to me. Oh, okay, the two key basically builds it up. Oh, it's always been watered, I guess. What is that? Alright, let's figure out how to make this well. I'm tired of walking back to that spot. Wooden well, right? Maybe like right here. So, harvest nine and then sell the berries. Yeah, if I upgrade the axe. Probably do more damage to these trees. If I can get them in one hit, that'll be awesome, right? Hmm. 
wonder how much the fiber sells for. I wonder what the uh, starting location d does in terms of difference. I don't think I can sell fiber. Oh, no one wants to sell fi buy fiber. Oh, I can buy seeds, huh? Oh, Jesus Christ, that's expensive. Can't sell fiber. If I come up with all that, I get 250 coins, but I can't store that. I guess technically the bag pays for itself. Right. If I buy the backpack, I can get 250 back. Alright, wait a minute. I gotta come up with the money. Spend the money. I get the money back. So I don't lose money. I'll actually have 250 at the end of the day. Yeah, I'll still have 250 at the end of the day. What else can I cook here? I need to learn fishing, right? Oh, I gotta buy a fishing rod. Yeah, I gotta buy a fishing rod. Let's me sell stuff that's from my storage. I'm not quite sure. Stored items. I don't know what that means. You know, I, I guess whatever is allowable. Okay, so gotta wait for the thingy be done, right? Wait, what? Are they not mature? Oh... Uh, I don't think they're mature. I don't think they're mature. Oh shit. Yeah, I think that I prematurely harvest them. Mistake there. I don't know how to do the... I have pears, but I just don't know how to... Um, how to grow them. It might be that garden thingy. I don't have enough to sell. I 
need to harvest three, then I get more rose bags. Alright, how's my money? 99 coins. Jeez, almost 150 more, 151. What was the other item? I think I wanted to put that on there, right? Hides. Yeah. I need something else that makes better food. Seed bag, right? I should probably harvest that too. I didn't see any big numbers, so it was like all that time and hitting nothing. I need to go into the mine and get some iron shards or ores or whatever. That levels up my axe. Oops, there's another. Ma'am. It's your your second hit that crits, not your first. The way it works is it's the second. When you get that circle, the second one will be the one that crits, not the first. So far, it seems like it's giving me seeds back. Yeah, so far, it actually seems like it gives me seed back. Hello? 
until we're done, right? Nice. Upgrade to a farmer's watering can. Oh, the love oh, there's more. Upgrade to a farmer's watering can. Using an anvil. Build two new farms. Plant wheat seeds and plant rose seeds. I see. Warm prevents freezing. Oh, it's still doing the thing. Huh. I guess when we're within that range. Kind of nice, I guess. So that means the farmer's quest, there's more to it. So that's two out of five. Means there's like five. It's got a chain of five. Right, right, because we learned that from the tutorial. Order. What is this? Build all this stuff. Oh, we build stuff and gather shit. And we get a what? A barrel? Barrel recipe, I'm guessing. Tame a cat, tame a tiger, tame a wolf. Ooh. Curse dungeons. Complete the ancient dungeons in curse mode. Kill Voidlings 500. Reach day 14. What day are we on? We're day 6, right? We've reached day 6. Nice. Alright. Now we just gotta make money, right? Make money. Mm. You got one hundred and seventeen, right? Well, it's a long way to go to get to where we need to be. Not terribly bad, I guess. Alright, well this is a good stopping point. I actually enjoyed this game a lot. Yeah, let's go ahead and sleep in the bed. There you go. And so, we will now save to the menu, right? So yeah guys, thank you so much for hanging out. And watching this. Uh... If you guys like what you see, don't forget to go to the Lens Island uh, Steam page and buy it. I might actually have a link to get a discount below from my Humble. Let me check to see if my Humble provides a, uh, a Lens Island uh, purchase option. If it does, that would probably be a nice, preferable... No, it does not, unfortunately. Alright, well, just buy it from the Steam link uh, down below in my description. It should be on sale right now, right? Yeah, there's like a huge 40% discount. The promotion ends June 3rd. So buy it while you can. It's only 15 bucks. I highly recommend it. This is really, really fun. I enjoy this a lot. So next time, when I play this again... In the next episode, I will continue my farming, my leveling, and upgrading my gears. It's been fun. Thank you so much. Alright, I'll catch you later.